Winter weather forecasting is like creating music. There's Beethoven, the Beatles, and Bruno Mars. You kind of know what you're going to get with each composer. This season's composer is La Nina. There's a 75% chance that it will last through February. And it's the third consecutive winter season influenced by La Nina, which has only happened three times since 1950. La Nina means cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the Pacific Ocean along the equator west of South America. And that can lead to warm and dry weather over the southern U.S. and cool and wet conditions over the northern U.S. Sometimes a song's volume increases and decreases, in other words, gets louder and softer. In weather, that's the Madden-Julian oscillation. Over a period of two to three months, precipitation can increase and decrease. Currently, the MJO is in cold phase eight, but headed toward a warmer and wetter phase six. Some tunes have a repeating segment of music, usually called a chorus. Weather also has repeating segments, like the North Atlantic and Arctic oscillations. Currently, both are forecast into the negative phase, meaning colder temperatures for a period of one to two weeks. How about musical tempo? Whether a song is fast or slow. That's the polar vortex. When cold air is locked up at the pole, the weather patterns are slow and steady. But when the polar vortex gets stretched, the tempo speeds up and can spill that cold air into North America. Finally, the musical notes. That represents the daily weather, changing from day to day and week to week. And now, what might we expect this winter? I'm looking at near to colder than average temperatures with near to less than average snowfall.